Okay, today we're going to be making a Subway sandwich. I got all this stuff from Walmart. Got um, French bread. It's a dollar. Then I got some Black Forest ham. Hard salami. Pepperoni. Making a BLT today. And then I got some mild cheddar and some Monterey Jack, and I had already washed my hands. Also, I got cucumber, red wine vinegar that they use, lettuce, ranch. And you can use Parmesan cheese that they have, but I'm not going to use that. What else? I think I got a bell pepper. Yeah, bell pepper. And I have some, to I have some tomatoes, but I'm not going to put that on there. Oh, and banana peppers. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a knife. Start with the bread. I'm only gonna do half. I'm not gonna make it real, real big. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just cut my bread. that much for another time use this plate then I'm gonna cut it right in the middle south too I usually get herbs and cheese bread but this for a subway today. This is just an easier way that you can make it at home. And we're going to try to do it exactly how they do it at some point. Okay, and it's going to be like this. Okay, now they put, I can't remember if they put cheese or meat first, but I'm going to go ahead and open this stuff. the exact same ingredients as the BMT, which is black forest ham, hard salami, and pepperoni. And BMT is my favorite, so. That's what we're 
we're doing. Hopefully it'll taste just like it. And I'm going to toast mine because I'm pregnant and I can't be having cold meat. Okay, you got the black horse hand, got the salami. And these are little pepperonis, these are not big ones. But these will work. Okay, I just put four pepperonis. So it looks like these. Now let's go in with our cheese. You know, they have like the little triangle cheese, but we're going to leave it like this. Two, two mild cheddar and two Colby and Monterey Jack is what's going on this thing. Toasting, we're gonna go ahead and get our cucumber and our bell pepper ready. We just gonna get a little bit. We don't need all of it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and thinly slice to put on the sandwich. But I like a lot of vegetables. Never made it at home. This is the first time. But I feel like this is going to be a success. I made mine little small pieces. Hopefully that bread don't take too long. Then I'm going to just go ahead and I like mine peeled. I don't like eating the outside of the cube. already washed the vegetables and everything just in case everybody is wondering okay. cucumber smells so good leave these little small thin sliced pieces Now we got our cucumber. Cut it in half. Just a little bit. Okay. This one has a little bit of the outside on it, but it's alright. Cucumbers and our bell peppers. Now let me go check on the bread. Oh yeah, this thing is toasty. 
and it's not too hard or soft. We got lettuce that we're fixing to go in with. Oops. I didn't want that to happen. So we're going to go ahead and go in with our lettuce. Let me do it on this side. It's much easier. Can't go wrong with the shredded lettuce. Okay, got the lettuce. Get my bell banana peppers out. I mean, they didn't have an actual banana pepper, so we're going in with the mild banana pepper rings that you get from Walmart. too many. Just a few to give it a little taste. Probably five of them. Okay. Now I'll put some cucumbers on that thing. Okay, you got that, that, that. Now for the good part, we gonna go in with some red wine and orange. This is just like they have at um, Subway. It smells really good. I'm just doing. Smells just like Subway too. Smells exactly like Subway. It's like all the ingredients together it just smells exactly like it. Okay, now the last thing is gonna be some ranch. This is how I like mine. That thing is good to go. You know, we ain't got one of those little fancy knives that they always have, but we got our Subway sandwich. And it smells just like it, too. Oops. Look at me, already making a mess. <laughs> Gotta stuff that thing in there. 